morning, everybody. Look how pretty Cameron looks in the morning sun. Sunshine, something we haven't seen in the last 24 hours. <laughs> very, very cold and rainy and gloomy yesterday. It was horrible. Good morning, everybody. So we're all soaking up the sunshine. This is Cameron. Zebu is actually being fed um, by uh, Fred, who's training on feeding big cats. So I didn't want to bother him while he's learning. So I came over to see Cameron instead. Finally stopped raining. It pretty much didn't stop raining. Soaking up the sun. I don't know if he'll snub me by walking away if I go closer. I stopped and put on my rain boots just because I knew getting out here close to anybody was going to be a mess. Hi, sir. Awesome keeper tour. Um, I saw the feeding tour and the keeper tour go out yesterday despite the weather. It looked like they had a good time too, but Saturday was much better weather. Yeah, it's definitely a cool, cool breeze going on today. Another day where we'll be lucky to see 60, I believe, which I know is still a far cry from what everybody across the country is experiencing. But good morning, everybody. When I first rolled up here, um, I was just actually heading towards uh, Gabrielle, that's who I was going to start with, but Cameron was up on his den and Zabu was laying down below him and they just looked so cute. And the moment I pulled out my phone, the keepers with the food showed up, so then they both moved. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Cameron literally giving me the cold sh shoulder this morning. It just looks so pretty in the, in the sunlight though. So this is Cameron, our male lion, and if you look off in the background of the screen, you'll see the boo eating in her lockout. Fred and Steph are eating. Karma. Karma's already been out here with his meds and food, and he was like, no thanks. Didn't eat, but then the moment that they came out with his food, that's when he got down. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us this morning. I have started not feeling well again. I think it's allergies. I feel like every time it gets really rainy, something must like spore <laughs> that bothers me, but I'm hanging in there. Well, Boo's doing very good, eating all for breakfast. Oh, thank you, Angie. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun um, figuring out how to do that and then going through a lot of my photographs and making our cats here in the modern art. <laughs> I added Seth, um, Armani, and Tiger Lily at the end of last week. And then there was already Cyrus, Perfection, and Hoover. And I have a few others that I'm still working on. So I appreciate that. It was a fun project. First time I've really myself designed anything, so that was fun. Thank you, Anthony, for your donation. There goes Boo. She's done with breakfast. How about we go over and just say a nice little hello to her. Yeah, I've got to start feeling better because this weekend I'm very excited. My sister and her husband and my niece, who's almost five, are 
we're coming here from South Carolina to visit for just the weekend and we're taking her to Disney Magic Kingdom for her fifth birthday so I'm very excited. Hi Boo Boo! There's my girl. Yes. Oh it's so sunshiny over here. It is super sunshiny over here. Um, we have 60 cats on 67 acres here in Tampa, Florida. Thank you, Stacy, for your donation. We are one of the world's largest accredited sanctuaries. So we don't do any buying, selling, trading, breeding, or touching any of our cats here. And they come here and live the rest of their lives in peace. We do have guided tours and then we sell merchandise. That's how we help support these cats. And then 100% of your donations go straight to the care of the cat. So we really appreciate you guys for that. Well, we're not that interesting. Cameron and Zabu were housed together from a young age in hopes of making hybrid uh, white ligers. Yeah, terrible idea. And so they're both fixed. That's why Cameron, our male lion, doesn't have a mane. Manes are testosterone driven. But at least for him, he got to live the rest of his life with his favorite, favorite girl, Zabu. Let's walk back over to Cameron. <laughs> so he doesn't move much. Alright, so we've only just started with Cameron and Zabu, which wasn't even my initial idea. <laughs> I just got stopped because he looked so pretty in the sun. All right, Cam, are you going to eat when they come back out? You better. I know you hear me. I definitely know you hear me. All right, so I apologize. I'm using a different stabilizer, one that I borrowed from Afton. And while it seems to hold stable, it doesn't always show me what I want to see, and it gets a little lopsided, so. <laughs> um, but I, I know a very generous man named Chris said he was sending me a stabilizer, and then I just got word that I had a package and the, good morning! <laughs> I'm like, where are you going? Um, that I had a package in the gift shop, and I believe it might be that. So once the gift shop's open, You're only going to see the portion that I have on the screen on my camera, though. But go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages. My house is only 900 square feet, so all these cats have larger enclosures than my husband and I do. <laughs> Thank you to everybody helping me answer questions trying to control a new stabilizer and drive. There's that pretty lady. Just park the cart out of the way here. So if you're just joining, we've only seen a little bit of Cameron and Zabu. Hi lady. I'm gonna try to see Gabrielle. Gabrielle's been acting a little weird lately. A little bit worried about her eyesight and she just did just turn 22 years old and she has been through a lot in her life hi baby but she's acting like she gets very spooked hi we say hi to you oh that's a very nice job thank you very nice job and she's been i think she's been listening to all her neighbors where they're like if you don't eat right away when they bring you food They'll come out four, five, and six times a day. <laughs> so she, it's been taking her up to up to two times a day to eat her full meal. If you guys are brand new to us, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. There are many moderators in the comments that can help answer questions for you if I do not. When I'm this close to these large cats, I typically am not reading what you guys are saying. I'm watching this scary cat. 
That was a very nice job, Gabby. Yeah, so Gabby's also soaking up the sun. So Gabrielle Tiger um, came from one of the largest rescues in U.S. history where a terrible breeding facility needed to rehome 110 tigers in Colorado. And we took five of them. Gabby, Seth, Priya. We had Andy and Chiraka as well. There she goes. Gabrielle was used basically as a breeder. All they did was breed her again and again and again for more cubs so that they would be able to have their cub petting scheme where people pay money to hold and pet tiny little cubs that are ripped away from their mothers. So when she came here, she had quite a few health problems. She's getting a drink of water. So lucky for Gabby though, she's at least getting the tail end of her life as a good experience for her. She's 22 years old. She's our little pocket tiger, baby girl. <laughs> Even though I think she's the oldest one in the group that came in. Hi! Yeah, I know. She's our sweet lady. We've actually fed her quite a few times over the last week or so. Oh, very good chuppy! Yeah, it's a very nice job. And so it's been up close and personal on seeing the changes happening in her. Where are my stabilizer trying to go now? Where are you going? That's the real question. Where are you going, lady? So this is beautiful Gabrielle, if you're just joining. We've seen Cameron and Zabu. Stacy, that's a great question we get asked all the time. Um, their life expectancy in the wild uh, would be about 10 to 12 years, typically. Um, but that's because, you know, if they're chasing down prey and they get injured or they get some kind of infection, there's no keepers and no vet staff there to, you know, give them medicine and make sure they heal versus obviously in captivity, we've got those kinds of capabilities. She's excited for breakfast though, which is a good sign, up and moving. We feed every day here between 8 and 9 a.m. So it's the time of morning where they're all most active and most excited. Yeah, 10 to 12 in the wild, but here at Big Cat Rescue, um, fortunately we tend to have them a lot longer than that, almost double the lifespan. And yes, anytime that we do have a cat that passes away, those cats are cremated. We don't want any parts of them to ever go into the black market or into the trade. So they are cremated and then housed on property with a granite plaque. Um, special words usually from the keepers and caregivers and stuff. All right, sweet lady. Well, I'm glad to see you're up and excited. All the cats have those morning routines of where they stand and pace in order to see the food cart coming first. Oop. Yeah, I'm not sure why this one doesn't want to stay straight stable. <laughs> Hasn't flipped around on me yet though. That's, that's a good thing. Okay.
think you probably all know who I'm about to go see. <laughs> you guys I had a nice little breakthrough with Kilona and Dryden. Um, Dryden's never really been the issue. He is pretty bold, not too scared of everything and he you know I figured with him it was just gonna be getting the commands down for operant conditioning with him but Kilona came right up to me on my third session with her um, and ate treats right off the stick. So I don't know if it's a fluke. We'll see you again the next time, but it took three times coming out where she just marched right up to me and ate treats right off the stick. Even went in the lockout for me. Hi, yeah, I'm bragging about you and your girl. Yeah, so this is Dryden Bobcat. Dryden's actually already very good at everything. Um, actually, if you see movement in the background in that lockout back there, that's Kilona slinking away. <laughs> there she goes. So I'm going to work really diligently on getting her used to, used to working with me. There's Tiger Lily. Hi, Lily girl. So Tiger Lily is officially our oldest cat at the sanctuary. Where are you going? Miss Leo. Tiger Lily, ready for breakfast? Yeah, what a good girl. What a very good girl. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have the food today. I don't have the food today. Next person you see will. <laughs> so that's Tiger Lily Bobcat. She is 24 years old. Or almost 24, forgive me. She's 23. She'll be 24 in April. April 1st, I think. Early April. I'll have to look at her sign. Well, where'd she go? Here she is. I knew she'd sneak around the corner. So this is a pretty good example right here. If you look, you see all the water that's on the ground, sure. Um, but you can see that her enclosure is dry. And that's because we have the, the enclosure is slightly more elevated. And that way the water will drain out of the enclosure. So the keepers walk through all the water, but the cats, I mean, I won't lie, there's some areas where the cats get water in their enclosure, but it's not usually in their main parts. Where'd she go? Hide and seek Bobcat. Nope, she's like, for real lady, you didn't bring me anything, so. So you can see all the feeders are out and about. And there's Dryden again. This little box that's on the outside of the main enclosure. That is their feeding lockout. And we get the cats really comfortable with going in there. And that's actually how we can trap them if we ever need to take them to the hospital or go on the funcation or just get a really up close look at them. They get used to this area being a fun place where they get food and water, so. Lily's all the way back there. That's because that's where the feeders are. Are you so excited? Yeah, super exciting. I know, I fed yesterday, but not today. Sorry. Okay. So we will make our way back out of here. I'm 
think I saw somebody say they hadn't seen Manny. Manny's kind of a... <laughs> He's everywhere. <laughs> I feel like everything's all Manny all the time. But we'll make our way back there because I want to see if Zimba is out, which you guys joined us last week when we were moving cats to Funcation. It was supposed to be Sheena, and then Sheena said heck no. And then it was supposed to be Servi. Servi said heck no. And then we went to Zimba and Zimba loaded up. So, worked out pretty good. So let's go see how he's doing out there. Yeah, I volunteered yesterday, which I think is also why I'm extra not feeling good today. Because it was basically in the mid 40s, 50s, and it literally didn't stop raining the whole six hours I was out in the elements. So it was uh, a cold one. <laughs> you really know how to test your love for the cats when you come in on a day like that. Yes, all of our animal care at Big Cat Rescue is done by volunteers and interns. We have staff members here, but when we're actually staff, you won't see us out here with the cats. <laughs> we're in offices and sitting behind desks. When we're out with the cats, that's still volunteer time. Hi, I gotta swim to you, Zim Zim. Here we go. Hi. I know. Zimba. Zimba is an African serval. He is up front in his feeding lockout because again that's his place where he knows breakfast is coming. But he's technically in Funcation. That's Beecher behind me. So Funcation is a 22,000 square foot enclosure. He loves this big giant den right here. And he is out here for two weeks. We rotate each of the cats, um, so Manny and Smaller come out here, and Lions and Tigers go on our larger um, vacation rotation, which that's where Kali is. Yeah, Zimba does really good on Funcation. He's like, I'm going back to bed if you don't bring me food. Hi. They were right behind me. It's pretty cold, so. It's pretty cold, so it's probably warmer in there. These concrete dens are really awesome because they provide shelter, obviously, but they keep the cats warm when it's cold, and then they actually keep the cats cool when it's really hot out. All right, I'll take the hint. Zimba turned 21 years old this month. Here's Beecher. I don't know where Beecher's running off to. Where? Where are you going? Where's that Beach Boy going? Beecher will show you an example of how all their enclosures are made. They can walk from one section to the other via tunnels and doors. Hi! What are you doing? Meow. Beecher is a Savannah cat. He's got a very interesting story if you click on the links that they're posting for his bio page. Yes, Natalia and Manny have both been on plantation. I don't think there's any big cats so far that haven't um, at this point. There, yeah. There are some small cats that have never, and that's because they refuse, which we respect. Like, I don't think Gilligan has gone out because he didn't want to. We saw that Sheena didn't, Servi didn't. We don't push it, and then the Savannah cats, like Beecher, the squares on Funcation might be a little bit too big. Here he goes. So we're not gonna test that. 
but there is um, talks of turning an old enclosure that used to house the three cougar cubs in it and turning that into the small, small cat plantation. So we'll see if that pans out or not. Obviously we're focused more on getting the cages ready for the Guatemala tigers. And everyone's always desperately begging us for updates on that, and I wish I had something to tell you. The government shut down. Uh, our paperwork is just sitting in standstill. Nothing new is happening. It's a very wet one out here. So you can see, here come the keepers and here come the food. So let me get back out of here. We'll walk over and end with Manny. I'm gonna get into the gift shop here in a minute. Yeah, most of our Savannah cats, um, they're still quite large, but they're like a lot skinnier and lankier than the servals. Sorry, I'm super struggling with see them yet? Oh, I, I did have to share something else from yesterday. So yesterday was one of the coldest, most miserable six hours I've been a keeper outside before. Hi, sneaky. And I was actually cleaning leopards and jaguars and I get all the way over to Natalia and Natalia was hanging out in the air-conditioned den. <laughs> the one nobody had seen her go in since building it. So I thought that was kind of hilarious. Where are you going? It's very sunny over here. Yep, this is Nanny Jaguar. He's our only Jaguar. Be very curious to try out the new stabilizer. And then just a little reminder that tomorrow, and you can watch it from the Explore camera too, uh, bigcatcams.com and choose vacation rotation. But Kali, will be out in vacation. She's already out there, but she will be choosing her Super Bowl winner. We did that kind of enrichment with her last year and she picked the right team. So we'll see about this year. Thanks to everybody that joined us today. If you have any questions, feel free to still ask them. I go back to my desk and go through all of these comments at the end. I've also started posting which cats um, we see in these. That way it'll be a little bit easier for you to find videos if you want to see a specific cat. And you can learn about each of these cats at bigcatrescue.org slash catbio. He just flung wet sand at me, which was super nice. <laughs> Great way to start the day. Wet feet and jaguar splatters. Pri is usually the one that does that with her tail. And thank you to the two people that donated. We really appreciate it. You guys can um, shop at our new store at teespring.com slash store slash big cat rescue. It's got a lot of new merchandise. And then, ooh, one more thing to say, Jamie um, took one of the posters that we all really, really love about just because they wear stripes doesn't mean they should be treated like prisoners and has put that on shirts and sweatshirts. If you go to bigcatrescue.biz and search for prisoner, you will see all of those. And the other thing is it goes all the way up to a 5X. I know we get a lot of people saying that 
Um, we just don't have the right size for them. So even more sizes for you. Thank you, Beth, for your donation. Really appreciate it. So you can definitely check that out for us. And Mr. Manny, just super ready for breakfast. And you can uh, rewatch this feed at facebook.com slash wildcat walkabout. You'll get to see Cameron and Zebu from the start. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all of you. <laughs> You're hard to keep on my screen. Alright everybody, well I hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow for Cully's Enrichment.